Out here on Upper Herring Lake in Frankfurt, the ice is about four to five inches thick, but with rain and warm conditions, the ice is quickly deteriorating. The Coast Guard cautions people who are eager to get out on the ice because if you're not careful, you could end up like this guy. Think twice before going on the ice. Sir, the United States Coast Guard, how long have you been out here for? So we're going to get you out of the water, okay? Just keep holding on. Today, Coast Guardsmen at Coast Guard Station Frankfurt are practicing ice rescue drills. It's important for us so that when an emergency does happen, we know exactly how we're going to respond and everything's committed to memory. We can go out there and do it without flaw. In the past two winters, rescue crews in the Great Lakes saved or assisted 42 people. Many ice rescues involve fishermen. So you got six inches of ice. After six hours of sun beating on that, it's going to become uh, very brittle. And then uh, by the time you get out of your ice shanty, you're going to start breaking through every other step and end up stranded. The Coast Guard in Frankfurt fortunately hasn't had any ice rescue missions in the past two years. So we're going to get you out of the water, okay? Just keep holding on. But the drills they are practicing today will prepare them for future emergencies. Weather con conditions are always changing um, due to weather, wind, current, and then the ice formation itself. Uh, clear ice is going to be your uh, best ice. Any kind of uh, pollutant or snow on top, it's going to insulate it and start to thaw it quicker. If someone does fall into below freezing water, they have one minute to control their breathing. First reaction is going to be to take a gasp in. They then have 10 minutes of meaningful movement. After that, your uh, movement becomes impaired and you cannot uh, operate radio, cell phones. On average, there is about one hour of total survival time. But this only goes for people who are wearing life jackets. A lot of people wear fishing boots. They're going to become extremely heavy. It's going to get exhausting for you to stay, uh, stay afloat for any uh, period of time. And that's why the guard is reminding everyone that ice can be dangerous and unpredictable. Get you out of the water, sir. I got a hand on the victim. Megan Moore, Up North Live News on ABC 29 and 8. Get you out of here, sir.